Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you follow me on IG, you may know that I have been pining over a digital Leica. So I decided to rent one for a week and see how I felt about it. In this video, I attempt a photo walk through Philly as I put myself through the paces of focusing manually and judging distances. Leave me a comment and let me know what you think. By the way, there's two versions of this video, one with my commentary and one without. Enjoy. First up is handling. This is a two-handed camera, one for focus and the other one for aim. If you're not used to focusing manually, it will take some time to get used to, but after a while, you start getting the hang of it. It's a substantially heavier camera than my Fuji X-Pro3, so it does cause some fatigue on the wrist after some use. Today's photo walk has proven to me that the thumb grip and the hand grip are an absolute must, at least for me. I usually expose manually on all cameras, uh, outside of autofocus, of course. But on today's outing, I set the camera to auto ISO and auto shutter speed just to see how it would handle exposure. On review, I don't agree with some of the choices it made though. Focusing distance and speed. This camera feels amazing in the hands. The tactile nature of this camera demands to be used in such a way that it makes you dig deep into your skills. In this way, it kind of keeps you on your toes uh, whenever you're attempting any photograph. I'll go off script here a bit, but uh, these young ladies were gracious enough to allow me to photograph them. But after a while, they were looking at me crazy because I was taking a while to uh, catch focus. And uh, 1.4 on a 50 millimeter is not as forgiving as a 35 millimeter. I'm sure that both of these ladies um, are used to rapid shooting um, with other cameras. I definitely miss focus on a few shots and to add pressure they wanted to see the results. Um, luckily I was able to grab a couple more pictures and I got some good results. One thing that is specific to the rangefinder cameras like the Leica M10 and this is something that I never heard anyone mention in the YouTubes that I've watched is that your eyesight needs to be top notch and if not the Leica may not be the camera for you. For me the focus patch had me questioning my eyesight so it can be hard to focus at times especially at night. One thing I noticed um, I was doing often was covering the pass through with my pointer or middle finger while hand holding the camera. As per your sight, you can make corrections with the diopter, but that's something to consider. All in all, I get the hype behind the Leica M cameras. They're so much fun because they demand your absolute attention when you're using them.